Hello golfers, Just Frank coming to you from the Just Frank Golf Academy YouTube channel. Uh, today we're going to talk about how to create amazing shaft lean and amazing contact. You know, you see all the great players, they come into the impact and that those hands are on the forward leg and that head is right behind the, the shaft. You know, they have that nice angle into the, into the ball and they're hitting that ball really solid and high and far and straight. So how does that happen? What do the best players in the world do? So again, my name's Jess Frank. I'm here at the beautiful Deer Creek Golf Club here in Deerfield Beach, Florida. And uh, let's get into this because this is really, really important when you're playing golf. How do you create it? Do you try to manufacture it? Or does it just happen from a sequence of events that you're doing in your swing? So the first thing I always see with people that struggle with that kind of that casting look, the early release where that club head passes the hands. Um, usually it's, a, it's an idea in their head, first of all, where they're trying to get underneath the ball and add loft to the club or trying to help the ball up in the air. So that's a cascading effect. So if the weight stays back, you scoop up on it, and then you get that breakdown of the arm, elbow, wrist, hands. And so it's something that that can uh, definitely, definitely hurt you. Um, you can hit behind it, hit it thin, the face opens a lot and it can go to the right. So one of the ways I do it is the first thing I like to do is even just take away the golf club. So I don't even want to have a golf club in my hands. I'm just going to get my grip, get my setup, and I'm just going to practice moving my arms and club, or my, my hands, arms, shoulders. I'm going to just make this little swing back and little swing through. And you can see when I do this, my hands and arms are together here. I'm pivoting back. When I do that, the weight's on the front foot. As I come through, you can see is that my hands, I'm not trying to flip the club or flip my hands. So that's something you're gonna you're gonna, you know, I've talked about this before in videos where you create educated hands, how the left arm moves, how the right arm moves, how the right wrist works, and the left wrist works. So just doing this without a club first and breaking it down into smaller motions is going to be something that's really important for you. And I can even just do it with my left arm. If I take my left arm back and bring my left arm through. And you can see I can work on this because now my wrist isn't flipping at the ball. I'm not helping the ball up. You know, I'm going slower. I'm making these smaller movements. And that's allowing me to kind of start to feel what my left arm does. Then my right arm as it comes through, you can see I have my right wrist bent back a little bit here. And you can see how I'm moving through. So what happens is that if you take away um, the golf club and the golf ball and you do shadow movements like shadow boxing in a way and just make these little swings here. And also what you can do is hold the positions. So as I go through, I'm gonna hold this position right here with my arms straight. Um, I still have a little wrist bend here. My weight's on my front foot. I've got nice tilt in my body here. So this is my weights forward, kind of push my hips forward. I have nice tilt with my shoulders, my head's still centered. And, and you can see I'm, I'm under control with the golf club. And, and that's something that you can do at home or in your backyard. Um, even you could do it at the range but take the golf club away first and make these little motions and that's going to help you. So then when you go back and you grab the golf club and you start with the little motions, what happens is that now you're moving the golf club through the swing, the swinging motion, and you're not manufacturing any, you're not trying to hold on, you're not trying to push the club forward or add lag. Um, that's something that a lot of people get hung up on because as soon as they start adding lag, the face opens up. So they're pushing the handle forward, the face opens, and so there's a lot of, a lot of crazy stuff going on. So why don't we just do it like this here? We could hold the club up in the air a little bit, go back and forth. So that's the same thing I was just doing with no club. So I go back and forth, back and forth this way. You know, do a lot of those type of shadow boxing swings or air swings. So then when the ball gets there, you know, and you should do about probably 50 to 100 of those swings before you hit a ball and, and really keep, you know, pounding that in on the, on the, on the, um, 
on those motions there, on those rehearsal motions. Then you go down and then you have, you know, before you even hit the ball, you make this motion and you make sure you can take a small T. Here's just a broken T, put it on the ground and just make this club go back and forth. And so you can see when I do that, I'm not trying to hold positions. It's actually a motion. My body's moving, my hips are turning, my shoulders are tilting. So I'm coming through the ball really nice and you can see when I finish where the club is. And so you can see is that my hands are, I'm not, the club isn't moving all around. I call this like the water hose. Like if you wanted to shoot water all over the place and you had a, the, the water coming out of the, the nozzle, you'd be like, you know, the water would go everywhere. But if I'm holding onto the club, I'm supporting the club in a good structure, that's gonna help me uh, add that shaft lean. Okay, so as I go through again, here's the ball. Now I just hit that super clean. So the people that go to the range and they take their bucket of balls, dump it out and hit them as fast as they can and they wonder why they're not improving, this is the reason why, is because you're going, you're not going from crawling to walking to running, you're just going straight to running and, and just having incorrect fundamentals. And so the fundamentals of having the weight forward, the arm straight, the structure in your body, and, and that's creating the shaft lean, and it's also creating, it's also giving you the feel, the weight of the club head, and the way the club is made. So now the club, you're not just trying to hit at the ball, you know, the, the, the whole key here is that the ball gets in the way of your swing. You're making a motion, the ball gets in the way. You're not trying to hit at the ball. That's not what we want. So then we can go from here and we can start to expand the swing to a bigger motion. So now we can add a little bit more tilt, a little bit more extension, a little bit more turn in the back swing. So even if I would do, okay, so if I put the club down, now I want to do a longer swing. Okay, now I take the club, I get a little bit of wrist hinge here. Then from here you can see I got tilt, my weight's forward, I'm staying centered. And as I go back through, you can see I start to work how my, how my hands and arms, I can't tell you how many people that I teach out here that the club, they, this glove hand, it's like it stays above their, their, their right hand. And the best players in the world through the ball, they start to hide their glove hand. See the difference? So there's the glove pulling in. You get that, you know, the grip, which we'll talk about in a second. You're pulling in the club like this here. The, the glove hand is always on top of the uh, trail hand. And so, so if you look at the best players in the world, when they come into the ball, they're coming into the ball and they're moving their hands. And now their glove hand disappears. Now I've got my trail hand, my right hand, above the glove instead of below it. There's a slice. So here's a straight shot. So you can see the difference. That's super important. And then you can start to see, because most people, even without a club, they start to pull the club in that way. So, so this is something that's super important. And then you go ahead and you take the club back a little farther here. So again, crawl, then walk, then run. So here we go from here back through and onto this side. So you can see where now when I finish on this side, my trail hands above my glove hand. So now when I hit a shot, I'm going to do the same thing. Oh, so solid. I mean, that was really, really solid and smooth and came right off the center of the club face. So this is something that you could really work on. And this adds the shaft lean because what it does is it creates a sequence of events. It creates the feeling of, okay, take it to the top here. Then the next thing you're going to do, so you can see how this club, so my weight's forward. And you can see how this club comes down now. So there's no throwing away. I'm not just moving my arms all over the place. It's back to the top. You can see this rehearsal and you can see where the club comes through and I can and then I can even go all the way around to the finish and so so this can really help you this will add the shaft lane this will give you the shaft lane so but you got to go slow first and then what you start to do is you start to add speed so you talk about speed okay 
So then you go, okay, let's go a little faster now. So we're going to go to the top, and then we're going to go through. So you start to move your body, move the club. So you go to the top. Oh, man. So I could so feel the compression. I need to do this more often for my game. I'll tell you what, this is really, really good. I felt the really solid impact. So let's rewind for a second and talk a little bit you know, about you know, the, the club coming into the ball, um, what's important, and that you know, a lot of people what happens is it really starts in their grip too. So they have their grip, the club, too high in the palm. So that's something that I see a lot from golfers. The grip's way too high in the palm. So we get them to move the, the grip a little bit more. So you can see how it kind of runs through my fingers here. So it's not up here underneath my thumb pad, which I see a lot of golfers do. So we're gonna put the club a little kind of deeper in the fingers, not in the fingertips. So not in the fingertips, but right above, right in the, the part of the fingers here that's gonna help you. So you go ahead and do that. Take your grip, and with the right hand too, the right hand is super important, also in the fingers. So we go from there, back and forth. So this is something that can really help your game, really improve uh, how you're playing. Gonna add the shuffling. You're gonna be able to do this, but you gotta start slow. You gotta crawl before you walk and walk before you run. So it's very important that you do this in a sequence of events because that's gonna help you add that shuffling, hit the ball more solid farther and higher. Again, my name's Jess Frank. I hope you love this video. If you do, please subscribe. Please turn on your notifications. Remember, it's free. Um, I really um, appreciate your support uh, and, and uh, growth over the last year and a half. And you know, thank you so much for, for being there and watching the videos. And um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I'm trying to cover as many as I can. So uh, again, thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Have a great day.